against the Wendy's. Rain easing just a little. Wouldn't you like to be Roger Tews? With a free hit. Coming his way. Can they come back to turn it into a second? They hesitated for quite some time. And Adams was screaming for the ball to be thrown in. I thought Martin Crow went and explained the rules of this game to the West Indies. He's had a whole day seminar on it, but he missed the most important rule. Three hits mean exactly that, son. Well, you don't know what he told them. They might, come, they might be looking for him after this. Down towards the match from... Tears will get there. And this will hurt early in this over. Now there's the chance to really grab some comfort. Yeah, he waited nicely, Roger Tews. Patient about that shot. And uh, he struck it very cleverly. Placement was uh, the whole issue there. Again from twos. And you guessed it, same result. He's one of the best performers in Max and taking toll of the zone. Nice half volley. But what I do like about this, even though he didn't stop it, is the commitment in the deep from the West Indies throughout this innings. The big men, they're getting down and they are giving it a go. to go over the wicket. Thinks twice. Tries to settle himself, compose what's happening here. Gone for 19 from three deliveries. He's gone for a lot more. Make that 31 he's gone for. He sure has. Courtesy of this over. He's uh, really given them an advantage going into their second bowling performance. It's a tremendous strike, and Brian Lara can only watch and be frustrated that uh, one the shot, two the length of his bowler, and maybe three his decision to use him in the first place. Big call from Adams to go over the wicket after not being successful around the wicket. Makes it so much easier for the lefty. Coming into him. What an effort this one from Tews as the Wendy's in a real hurry in just one over get to find out what Max is all about. Well, if they do go on and win this game, go back to two overs in this match. The over bowl by Astle, which held the West Indies back at the end of their batting performance, and this bowling performance by Jimmy Adams, countered by Roger Tews. Of five deliveries. With twos with 35 from just six balls. Jimmy Adams thinks to himself, heaven's above. So this is what it's all about. You're right. Get behind this one. Commitment is one thing. Survival's another down there. This was absolutely drilled. It's been some good timing in some of the batting tonight, that is for sure. He's a big man, he couldn't get down in time. He's beaten by the pace of that delivery getting across the outfield. Well, Jimmy, you got a bit of thinking to do. After the Wendy's had set the target of 99 after their first innings, and the Max Black struggled for quite a while before it was Cairns, and then Roger Tews. Pace men were on top early. It was only Spearman who got away well with 29 from 15, but Cairns and Tews absolutely starring late in the innings.